No. Guess no. who's defensive? Okay. So it's going crazy Star. over. Slow dance. Hey everybody, Kyrie zero ninety one hanging out with you, boy. Oh boy, are we gonna have big fun today? Playing some more old school RuneScape. So I am just porting over to Lumbridge real quick here. When we last left off, as you probably recall, we had just finished up the Mistalin mystery quest, and it ran long. Two episodes worth. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that quest to be that long. But you know what, though? It was actually a ton of fun. I really enjoyed the quest. Um, I had never done it before. <clears throat> that leaves only two quests left for us. Oh, wait. We still have Romeo and Juliet. Three quests left for us. We'll do Romeo and Juliet, too. Not right now, though. Right now, I got other plans. Uh, right now, I want to pass through the gate here with a border guard. Can I come through this gate? You may pass for free. You're a friend of Alkarid. Um, after you do the Prince Ali rescue, you no longer have to pay 10 coins to pass through the gate. And I thought there was a... I don't know. I thought there was an option to just pass through the gate without paying, but maybe not. So, uh, today what I want to do is I want to actually take a break from questing. Don't worry, we'll get back on it soon enough. We gotta do Romeo and Juliet, Corsair Curse, which is another new one that I've never done before. I have done Romeo and Juliet, but I did it once, probably like 15 years ago. So I'll be honest, I really don't remember it that well. Uh, but um, uh, Corsair Curse, I've never done before. So anyway, let us uh, come up here to the bank. I'm gonna deposit all this stuff. I'm gonna get, I have a lot of money. I'm going to get, let's say, uh, the reason al Qarid is the place to come to work on crafting, which is what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do some crafting, uh, is because al Qarid is the uh, site of, I think, the only, if I'm not mistaken, it's the only free-to-play uh, place that has a, a crafting shop, and it's also got the tannery place where you can get your leather done. So, let's trade with this guy, and he's got needles, buy a needle, and he's got this thread, we'll buy 10 of them, I guess. Um, so, yeah, let's use the needle on the leather, it's going to ask what we want to make. Let me see what the best thing I can make at level 9 crafting. Armor, I can make leather cowl, so that's what I want to make, let's use needle on the leather. And I can make leather cowls. Let's make these all into leather cowls. So, you can see my character there. Stitching away at that leather. Let's see him. Look at him go. Stitch, stitch, stitch. And uh, you use up the thread little by little as you go. So, what can I do at level 10? Nothing new there. Jewelry. Uh, I could be making gold amulets right now, but I don't want to. I could do a holy symbol at 16. So let's keep stitching. Let's keep making leather cowls. Soon I'll be able to do van braces, which will be kind of cool, I guess. Um, I have a lot of cowhide in the bank that uh, from early on in the game. If you remember, I did a lot of grinding by fighting uh, cows, and that's why. Because I knew that at some point I was going to want to do crafting and it was going to be super handy to have leather van braces. It was going to be super handy to have leather van braces. No, it was going to be super handy to be able to, uh, to uh, um, tan all that hide and use it for leveling up. So here we go. Oh, ran out of leather. So now I got to... This is... this. Just like most of the trade skills in this game. Boy, there's a lot of back and forthing. Ah, man. So let's go in here. And drop off all of my stuff I just made. I'm done making cowls, by the way. I'm going to get back the two leather that I already have. And then just withdraw some more cowhide. I have a lot of cowhide, guys. I got like 200 and something that I... That I banked over the many hours spent fighting cows. I'm about to run out of run power, and that's okay. Let's trade with this guy. Now he can also make hard leather. Let me see what at what point do I need hard leather for anything? 
Pottery is also kind of neat. You can do bowls and pie dishes and pots and stuff by using clay. Uh, but I'm already a high enough level where I don't want to do that. So uh, Let's see here. Hard leather body at 28. There's all these studded, bo uh, studded bodies and studded chaps and all that, but that's a member thing. Um, so I'm not worried about it. All right. Soft leather. All. So now we got lots of soft leather, and let's go ahead and make some more van braces. I'm going to need more thread, obviously. <laughs> bum. Ba -bum, ba -bum, bum. Crafting level 12. Uh, members can craft oil lamps. That means nothing to me. I am not a member. Good thing is that these van braces are pretty easy to sell. I need to get more thread. Is what I need to do. What I say I can do at 13, I'm about to find out. At 13, I can. Oh, members can cut jade and craft jade rings. Well, that means nothing to me. I'm not a member. Although, I was thinking I might turn this character into a member. I don't know. The only reason I would want to do it is because construction is so much fun. Building a house is so much fun. Even though it's not as customizable as it makes you... F if, I don't know if y'all have ever done construction in this game before, but like... At its surface, it sounds like, oh, great, it's got to be, like, super customizable. I can do anything I want with my house and build it, but it's not like that. It's very, like, guided and, like, set. You can upgrade things around your house the higher level you get and the more um, resources you get. But at the end of it all, once you've spent all the money and spent all the time doing construction your house is going to have all the same stuff as anyone else's house. It's going to be laid out totally differently because you have to decide where to put each room. Like, you have to decide, like, okay, this is where I want my kitchen to be, and this is where... But everyone's house is going to have a kitchen, and everyone's house is going to have a, a whatever, like a study or whatever. So you're going to have all the same rooms and all the same equipment as anyone else. It's just going to be maybe laid out a little differently. Why'd you stop? Oh, you didn't stop. Let's collect. There ain't nothing to collect. Let's deposit all the van braces. Let's get another thing of cow hides. And the the biggest reason I want to work on any skills right now uh, is not necessarily because I plan to use them much. Um, honestly, all that's left is a couple of quests uh, before I end this series or have to go to members. Uh, but I want to... I want to get to um, a higher total level, and the reason that's important is because when you're a higher total level, you can log into special worlds like ones that only high total level people can log into, which means no bots, right? So that's awesome. You can now make leather armor. Members can make some funny looking hats that I don't, I won't be able to make. Let's make some leather armor, leather body. Should be more experience for that, I hope. Slightly more. It's 25. I think those other ones were like 22 and a half or something for the van braces. So yeah, it's a little bit more experience for making the the leather armor here. Mostly I want to be able to make jewelry. That's sort of what I'm hoping to get to here. By the, by the time I finish up all my leathers, I want to be able to do some jewelry. Members can make snail shell helmets, crab shell armor, and oak birdhouse. Okay. Well, I don't even know what any of that is. See, that's how out of touch I am with the member side of things. I don't even know what snail shell helmets or bird houses. I know nothing about that stuff. Despite the fact that I have played a member character for a long time. And I got him really high level in everything. But even with that experience, I don't know what any of that is. Just hit level 16, I can now make uh, holy symbols. But you got to use silver to do that. I actually do have a little bit of silver. Uh, because in preparation for this episode, I did some mining. Look at these mysterious... There's two mysterious old mans in here. Trying to get... Trying to get somebody to do a... A thing. And I guess they're not having it. That's cool. 
The mysterious old man isn't a very cool random. He does he all he does is gives you like a sandwich for talking to him. Level 17. Unholy symbols. Members can do that. I can't do unholy symbols. I can only do the holy symbols. Let's get my silver ore out real quick. Let's get my this thing. And let's go into the furnace room real quick. I'm just going to do the silver that I have with me. I guess I'll just make it all into holy symbols. Um, so to do that, first we got to smelt our silver into bars. And that's pretty easy to do when you got a big furnace like this. Smelt furnace. And this should be silver. There's steel right there. Make all silver bars. So the cool thing is that I'm actually going to get a little bit of uh, smithing experience for doing this. Not much, but a little bit. So let's make all these bars real quick. Alright, so now let's use the bar itself on the furnace, and it's going to ask what we want to make. For silver, uh, the only thing we can make is uh, the holy symbol. Uh, there's also tiaras you can make, but they require level 23. Uh, over here, I don't know why it says silver rings. I don't think there is such a thing as a silver ring. Uh, let's just go ahead and make all these into unstrung symbols right now. This should give us some good crafting experience. 50 points each, man. That is not bad at all. Holy cow. Level 18. You can now craft leather chaps. More information from the crafting tutor available in Lumbridge Castle. Let's just make the rest of these into unstrung symbols. What am I going to do with all these unstrung symbols? <laughs> See, like, I don't even know what this is. Members can now weave sacks and craft silver crossbow bolts. Okay, like, I know what crossbow bolts are, but I don't even know what the purpose is of weaving. Like, I can see it in the little crafting menu here. Is that everything one more? Like when I look at the crafting menu, I can see that I can weave vegetable sacks at level 21, drift nets, fruit baskets. I don't know what that stuff is for. I've never dealt with that before. Need to go over to the crafting shop real quick. I gotta buy something there I forgot to buy. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to go to the general store too to buy something else. Uh, let's trade with this jerk and get a chisel. Do I have all these molds? I think I do. Ring mold. Necklace. Amulet. I don't know. I think I'm going to come back in here and buy one of each mold right now. So I'm going to sell this guy some of... Oh, someone sold a bunch of unstrung symbols to him. Alright. He won't pay me much for the cowhide. In fact, he won't pay me anything. That's weird. How much is he going to charge for it? One coin. Let's just get rid of five of them. I don't really care about the money. I need a pair of shears, though. Um, and then we'll go back to the crafting shop and get the other molds that I may be missing. I don't know. I'm not sure why I grabbed all these cow hides if I knew I was going to come over here and do this. Ring mold. Amulet mold. I know I have that one because I just did it. Necklace mold. All right. Now back to the hide tanning. By the way, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this, uh, but here in Al Qarid is a uh, the scimitar shop, and yes, you can buy some decent scimitar, steel scimitar, mithril scimitar. These, uh, to you know, if you're playing Iron Man or if for whatever reason you aren't near the Grand Exchange, um, you can get scimitars here. So, you know, scimitars are my personal favorite uh, weapons to get. So. I like them. Other chaps. Mind in my own business when I suddenly got bothered by this guy who wants to punish me for something. Talk to him. I under arrest. I've come to lock you up. Okay, I'll come quietly. All right. So let's see here. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Unlock cage. All right, so it's a square hole, so we'll select this key. Next, we got a triangle, so we'll select the triangle key. Next, we got a diamond, so we'll select the diamond key. 
And we're free. He, he didn't give me anything. He maybe gave me like a little bit of money. That's seriously all he gave me for that. Maybe I got a little bit of money for that. I don't know. That wasn't very fun. Yay, level level 24. We can now do Sapphire Amulets. But we're not gonna until we finish all this leather. So at level 25, apparently members can do pot lids, jade necklaces, and willow birdhouses. You guys already know I have no idea what any of that is for. Level 26 crafting, and I still don't know what oil lanterns or drift nets are for, but I got I can make them if I was a member. Don't know what they do, but I can make them. Man, I gotta figure this stuff out. Man, I haven't been up here in a while. Oh no, I don't want to fight that ram. I haven't been up here in a while, guys. I'm back at the uh, the old sheep farm up here, and uh, I'm just here getting some wool for some stuff that we're gonna be doing. Check it out. It's the thing. There he goes. Come back, thing. Right there. Let's try to get him and watch what happens. Look it. It seriously is two penguins. Look, watch. This guy right here. It's two penguins inside of a sheep costume. Y'all remember that from when we did sheep shear a long time ago, right? You know, I, I read somewhere... And this may be completely untrue, I don't know. But I read somewhere that uh, Sheep Shearer was one of the very first, if not the first, quest that, um, the, that Andrew Gower wrote for this game. And uh, it's still obviously in its current form, the way that it was. <sighs> I guess I'm fighting a freaking woman. I didn't mean to attack her, but whatever, she's dead now. Bury them bones. All right. So let's go to the spinning wheel and we'll spin. It's going to ask what we want to spin. There's wool, golden wool, bowstring, rope, crossbow string, crossbow string, and magic string. Well, all that member that non-members can do is a ball of wool. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some balls of wool. We get a little bit of crafting XP for each operation. I think you get like two and a half per operation. So it's not a lot, but it's something. So why would I ever want to have all of these balls of wool? Why is that something I'd want? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's get all those unstrung symbols that we made earlier. Use the ball of wool on the unstrung symbol, and it's going to ask how many. Let's go ahead and make all of them into these things. We get a little bit of crafting XP for stringing them, uh, and this makes them something that you can sell. Like when you string them, now they're like sellable people because you can wear them. So let's go to our equipment stats and you'll see what this does. I think it increases your something. I don't know what. It looks like it doesn't do much for me. It literally doesn't do anything other than raises my prayer by one. So there is no reason to wear that. Oh, no. It doesn't even do that. Hang on. I'm looking at my stats here. It literally does nothing. Oh, it's unblessed. Derp. Let's try this. Use unblessed symbol on the altar. What did I do? You feel the wrath of the gods. Use an unblessed symbol on the altar. You feel the wrath of the gods. Pray at altar. You've already got full prayer points. By the way, right here, the uh, potter's wheel and the pottery oven. This is pretty much, I think it's the only place in free-to-play where you can um, make pottery. You bring soft clay here to make uh, uh, pots or whatever, and then you put the unfired clay pot into the kiln, the pottery oven, to cook it up. I think this is the mind altar if I'm not mistaken we are west of Edgeville heading up to the monastery up here the mind altar is like right in this area here uh, well I just talked to this guy and he said I can join their order which means I'm allowed to go upstairs now 
Uh, I don't know. I think you have to have like a certain prayer level to do that. I don't know though. I'm really not sure. But I'm only here because I'm looking for the the brother Jared guy because he's the one that I think blesses the stuff for you. There he is, brother Jared. Where are you, brother Jared? I just saw your name. There you are. Let's talk to you, brother Jared. What can you do to help a bold adventurer like myself? I can bless that star of Serodomen you have. I can tell you about the skill cape of prayer. Bless the star, please. Okay. Did he do all of them? Or he literally just did one? Okay, so I have to do this 11 times? Oh my goodness. Man, this took a while. <laughs> Had to click my way through that 11 times, but we did it. Let's get out of here. So I guess um, you do have to have a higher level prayer to get up there. It's level 31 is what you need to be able to enter the second floor there. And I happen to have exactly level 31, so thank goodness for that. Let's see what kind of money we can get for these bad boys. Uh, not very much, but we'll sell all of them and we'll sell them for a reduced rate here to just to try to unload them. And of course, we sold them nice and quick like. Let's get uh, all of our leather real quick and sell that. We got the chaps, the body, the cowl, and all but one of the embraces because I think I, I had one set of embraces in there. All right, so let's see here, chaps. Price per item, one coin. Really? Remarkable. Well, so I'm going to give you two coins each. The leather body, seven coins each. Man, lean. Jeez, dude. I honestly thought I'd get, like, significantly more money for these than I'm getting, but whatever. Van braces aren't selling for two coins. I guess we're selling them for one coin each. Wow, dude. Took a beating on that one. So we will end the episode today by doing some uh, jewelry. We did leather. We did uh, silver stuff. We did all kinds of stuff. Let's end by doing some jewelry. I'm going to smelt all this gold. While I was working on my mining and smithing, I mined a little bit of gold. Not a whole lot, but a little bit here. And I'm going to turn these all into gold bars. All right, so then if we use the chisel on the uncut sapphire, it's going to ask how many we want to make. And we're going to cut all of them, of course. This gives you a ton of crafting experience. Cutting gems is a ridiculous amount of crafting experience. However, it's also super expensive because you need to use a lot of gems to do it. So it's not always like the best way to level up or whatever, but there you go. Uh, how many sapphires do I have? Wow, I got the same number of sapphires that I do balls of wool. Um, I don't know if I want to do all these right now. Let's put away five and five, and let's get out. Well, I got eight and eight, so let's get out eight gold bars. And let's get out our amulet mold, our ring mold, and our necklace mold. Why not? So let's just make one of each just to see what we can do here to have some fun. Use the gold bar on here, and it's going to ask what we want to do. We can make rings... I guess we could have made silver stuff, huh? Okay, so we can make rings, amulets, and necklaces. If we if we run a member server, we could make a bracelet, but we can't do that here. Let's make a sapphire ring. Now let's make a sapphire necklace. Now let's make the rest of this into amulets. And again... Decent crafting experience for doing this. You can see I'm getting 75, 65 per operation. So, good. Worth doing. Level 27, you can now cut emeralds, craft emerald rings. Awesome possum. And we will do that. Let's string the amulets with the balls of wool. Let's make all of them. I think you get a little bit of crafting experience for doing it. Yeah, not much. You get four per operation. So, you get a little bit there. Uh, and then let's use um, the spell. Okay, so right now we have sapphire amulets and we have sapphire necklace and sapphire brace ring. Let's use the spell level one enchant on these to start enchanting them. Oh, you have to be in a member server to cast a spell in a ring. I bet it's the same for a necklace. Yeah. 
So the only thing you can enchant on a free-to-play server is the amulets. So you can see that as you do it, they change from Sapphire Amulet into Amulet of Magic. So that's how you make Amulet of Magic and, you know, the other amulets. By casting the, the respective enchant spell on them. I'm kind of disappointed I can't do the other ones on this server. I actually, like, I kind of expected that, but it still sucks. But as you know, we can do emeralds now. So let's get these out and start chopping some emeralds here. All of them. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, between this time and next, I'll probably work a little bit more on crafting just to get rid of some of because I have all these emeralds and I have all this sapphire jewelry and all this gold. I'm just going to try to burn through some of this stuff and do a little bit more crafting just to free up some, uh, just to get this stuff done. Thank you so much for watching, Kyrie Zero 91. Wish you a wonderful day. Be sure to join us next time for more Let's Play Old School RuneScape. Goodbye for now, everybody. Bye. Hey, everybody. Kyrie Zero 91 here. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content from me, or maybe you just like the sound of my voice like I do, consider subscribing to the Kyrie Zero 91 channel for more big fun.